Well, hello, folks. This is Kyle Kyle Tracks and Trails. We're back in my spot. We did some experimenting last night. I was out here until God knows when experiment with stuff. But we're going to try to do it tonight as an overnighter. I'm going to get shelter set up. I'm going to eat first because I'm hungry. I had breakfast. So we'll be trying some bits and gravy from the Pathfinder or at Self Reliance. You know, guys should know about their meals by now. Um, the um, Pathfinder provisions is what they're called. But I've got the. Table over here, I haven't shown you guys yet, so let me get turned around. You'll see some stuff here. And most of this is stuff I'm about to use, you'll see as I go through the video. I'm not going to really do a show and tell right at the moment. But this here, this bipod you see, is going to be part of my shelter. Now, I've done decided I'm not going to really use a bipod. I'm going to lash this on here, and we're going to have a tripod once I get that lashed on there. As you see, it stands up by itself. I'm going to go ahead and lash it on there. And we'll get it on there. This tile on there. I may not do nothing fancy with it. I brought a chair. brought some food. Got water. I've got other water in my backpack. Get you. Like this. So we're going to go ahead and practice another skill. It's a flint and steel. I haven't used my flint and steel in a while. I've already got it down there set up. Ready to go. We'll be doing that here in a minute. Other than that, I guess I'll get you guys done so we can start with the flint and steel. All right, so as you can see, here we are. I'm going to use cloth. There's my steel. There's my flint here. So we'll try to get this done here. Back up so maybe you guys can see this. Oh, I had it already. I'm going to get lucky. There we go. Got it. You guys are going to see that. There we go. And I'm filling it, so we'll get it in here. Definitely filling it. Now, I got a little bit of a breeze to work with. So, hopefully, this works like I want. I did stick birch bark in here. You can see it's already smoking. There we go. Trying to burn myself here. Now I'm going to work quickly here. And I will get you down here as soon as I get this started. I don't want to really lose my... We're going to use some... Oh, hell, I'm just going to get you down here. It's going to be kind of a rough ride, guys. I want to show you what I'm doing. I don't know if you guys can see that. Got my flames. I'm going to stick more birch bark on there. I have it. I collected a whole bunch yesterday. You guys saw that short? That's what I was doing. Any birch bark on top there? Maybe. Now, I kind of messed up. But that's all right. It's birch bark. It should. There we go. Almost smothered the fire. That is birch bark. We're going to use a lot of it. I was going to use the old man's beard, I guess. I didn't forget I had that stuck in there. Like that's smoking. We'll get that out of there. That's smoking. There we go. Now, get this out of the way from me. Fossil got. To work with. Now, this prop up like that. Once it starts burning, we'll be good. I should have had something to prop up on. That's all right. No burn. There we go. Some more back here. Those flames jump up there. And these will set like this. We almost messed up. I almost smurred my fire. But that's all right. Well, I should have had something to pit, prop that on. I may give that time on pitting this up. You guys enjoy the flame there. I lose my flint and steel. If I have to, I do have more birch bark. That's a good skill to know, and you saw how I did it. Fur rods do throw out 
hotter flames, but I'm better fit than still than fair rod. All right. Oh. And there. All kinds of small pieces laying around. I brought a rake with me so I could do some raking. Here we go. As you can see, folks. Yes. Get spread out a little bit more. There we go. Now, I got some more smalls here. A little bit bigger. I can get those on there. There into it. There we go. So you can see. Now what I'll do is I went ahead and set my right over there so I could do this. Once everything starts getting the coals and everything, I'll set my grate back on there. Actually, I was in here with the last time I had breakfast down here. We're not going to be that extravagant our breakfast this time. Let's go and bowl some water and fit in a package. Right now, what I want is for stuff to go up. All right, guys. Well, I think you've seen me do enough of this. I want to bore you. I think you guys enjoyed some of the fire here. And I'll get it built more back up, and we will be right back. Didn't see my screen. All right, as you can see, I do have the fire going. Got my grate back in there. I'll probably throw a few more sticks, but today we're going to be using this. This fits on this grill Pathfinder was selling them. Now, I've had for a while, I've not used it. It fits right on here perfectly. All I'm going to do is pour water from my grill and put my water on there. All we're doing is boiling water. So, show this off a little bit. You can see the. It's hope you can. I'm having a hard time seeing my screen. There we go. Goes all the way up 900 millimeters to 30 ounce. Or whatever ML stands for. And these handles right there. Actually, I have not used this. I tried carrying my bug up back with that extra containers in there. I was like, it needs that many containers. So, we'll get this shot on the road here. So, while I'm waving on stuff, I'm kind of seeing my screen, kind of not. So, I'll go ahead and get this going. Probably going for go the coffee. It's kind of warm out here, so I'll just stick with water. I always go have coffee. Really don't want that to cut the handle. Try to keep the handle away from the heat. I seem to be on something while my legs is wobbling. I'll we'll have to try to fix that. Not with that on there, I'm not. I don't need to be spilling water. So we'll get this to boil and I'll be right back. I'll show you what I'm going to be eating. All right. Yes, it comes with it. I left it my haversack, which I put in my backpack. So we'll get it on there so the water will boil faster. All right. As long as we're waiting for that water to boil there, I'll show you something else. This here is the Dimea food bag. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. It has two zippers, so... And zip it up from either way. It's very durable and lightweight. I mean, I've played with this thing. I've not torn it. The zipper seems to be good. I mean, I've already played with it. And about the only thing I'll go through is maybe a long fingernail or a knife. But I've got it in here, and we might have this for lunch. Loaded baked potato. 
Right now I'm worried about breakfast. Trash bag, Ziploc bag. Got that chicken dumpling soup that's been in there forever. We'll be having that. Biscuits and gravy. That's what we're after right here. We're going to be trying this. Not tried it. I think I tried something from Mountain House called Biscuits and Gravy. That wasn't too bad. But we'll be trying that today. Trash bag for all these raisins here. Got some bark up here. And that's about it. Like I said, it zips up both ways. You can, it's like that. I prefer mine more towards the end there. And you can hang this from the tree like this. It even has a carabiner, so you can do that too. I forgot about that. It's got another side. So you got all kinds of places where you hang from a tree if you're in a place where there's bears. We have the occasional bear here. Let me get you back up because I'm going to talk a little. I keep you now. I got back down here. I had my phone in my back pocket. So there was no time to take a picture. I heard this sound and it made me turn around as I was putting my bag up. That's back there hanging it up. And there was a doe, a deer, just running. But it had Buck right behind her. He was chasing. I stood there for a minute thinking I was going to have to move. I mean, it's real close to here. They stayed up there close. Another doe. About a second there, maybe five at most, came running behind the buck. It was kind of cool to see. So hopefully I'll get to see more, and hopefully I'll get it on film. We'll see. All right, we got my water in there. I was not expecting this. This comes with a biscuit. I got to crumble it up in there. You got to take the absorber out, of course. And then you have a biscuit you're going to be crumbled up in there and mix it in there. So we're going to let that set for a few. And we'll go from there. All right, folks, this biscuit's hard on a rock. So what I got to do is stick it in there. We'll find out. Just have to crush it up. Let me crush it up. Make it a mess here. It is inside this bag. I should have done this outside the bag, I think. So I don't have to do it like that. Try my best without dumping it everywhere. There we go. And set that set for 10 minutes, been about 10. And I'll show you what I was doing while I was waiting for this. Now I'm just going to do this. Slow it back up. Still hot water. I'm just going to mix it in there. Just like that. And hopefully, pull that set some more. And we really got hard biscuits with this, or that's going to soften up. We'll give it another 10. Because I'm in the process of setting my shirt off. I'll show you the start of it. I'm just not sure about this. I'll get back with you. All right, folks. You can see this right here is the start of my shelter. As you know, this is the flattest spot I have. There's another flat spot down there, but it's so rocky there ain't no way. This area is kind of rocky. I've had problems with tent stakes in but not as much as I did down there. I've done some experiments to walk around see where I get tent stakes in that. There was kind of another spot where I thought I might be able to make a spot, and no way. Plus, it's not as flat as I thought it was. This is more flatter, or flatter. Everything else is basically on the side of a hill. So, as you can see, I'm surrounded by trees, but I'm not, I don't have trees for a ridge line here. So, when you have this problem, get what you need out of the woods as far as the branches and everything is concerned. If you have a tarp and just make yourself a shelter. You'll see what I'm going to do here in a minute. I'll get back with you. All right, so we were doing the shelter. It didn't like the one I had set up. It was just too small. What we're doing now, let me get my phone down here. So I'm going to make a tripod. Now, this is just for shelter. So I'm going to do something real simple. I used to use the bow and not there. I'm going to go about, I don't know, three or four times around. Trying to stack them as best I can here. Easier if it was laying down something, I think, but that's all right. My table's full. There we go. We're just going to do that. 
I'm gonna come around. Get in front so I can see what I'm doing. Actually, this stuff from back here. That way I can see. I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna tie that. Well, now if I can get it to work out like I want it to. Go back around here, so it means I gotta play with the stick here. I'll go ahead and just use the clove hitch here. Sometimes you gotta just get things right go on them. There we go. Up back down. And we'll go ahead and use the clove hitch. I got some extra cordage here. That's all right. We'll cut it here in a minute. I don't drop it up a dozen times. Go. Back around there, there we go. As I need a knot. Getting the cordage is kind of long, but we'll play with it. Up there. There. Is that not there? There we go. I'm going to call that good. Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to take it. We're going to twist it around. Just like that. I hope. And that's all I need. There. That should hold. All right, there we go. That was kind of different. So that's how you do that. Sometimes you have to do it more times than that, but we're good. I'll get back with you guys. All right, there we go, folks. We do have shelter. I am doing it overnight, so I got my air mattress in there, which fits perfectly. That was the problem I was having, was trying to stick that air mattress somewhere to fit. This shelter is right here, where it's fitting into. That shelter was kind of low to the ground, and it was too low. This works. This setup works great with this Pathfinder. It's a 8 by 8, I think a 7.8 by 7.8. Let me look at the package. I got it around there somewhere. I got around there somewhere, I thought. No, I don't. I swear. Oh, here. This is my haversack. So inside my haversack, I have with me, I have... Yeah. This is from Pathfinder. That says 7 by 8 by 7 by 8. There we go. Pathfinder. I got an entire size fine with shelters. I reply bug spray too. Unfortunately, it's not the ticked off kind. That's where I can find kind of hassle, and I'm sprayed to death with chemicals. I don't like it. But anyways, enough about that. You can see what I got. I'll take you for a tour, and we'll get back with you. All right, here we go. You can see what I'm sleeping on there. A mirror mattress in there. That'd be fun to sleep on that because I've only laid on it so far. But here's what I got with this tri this bipod. I mean, you saw how I did the bipod. I didn't really do a dash. I just took it and took the other branch and twisted it over itself. And that's how I did this. I only did it once because I could do. That's what's keeping that together. 
just wedged in there, toggle, line, and staked out. Inside there, I'll show you again. Using my Swagman basket rubber cover, it's probably supposed to be in the 60s, so I'll be cat. Okay, I mean, I wear my hoodie up. Maybe use for a pedal. I'm thinking about investing in one wind pedal, to be honest with you. Just haven't done it yet. So I have it staked down here. I think it's going to be a little bit tighter, but it's working. You see where I have that stick? Have a stake down the back there. I put the stick there with the bank line to make that make more room in there. So that's up that way. It did loosen things up down here. I was kind of afraid to mess with it. So you can see it blunt, kind of blown around. I was afraid as I mess with it, then I ended up problems here. So I just didn't bother with it. The other side, I've got here around my pile of wood here. Basically, the same thing going on here. And I've already been there to make sure I fit on that thing under here. Everything's good. It's covered. There it looks like it on the camera or phone, wherever you're using. You can kind of see the wind ain't carpeting. In fact, it's come from that direction a couple times, that direction, that direction. So the wind ain't exactly behaving itself. It's Pennsylvania. I never in my life. Again, like that, and again, the stake back there with the stick holding everything up. <sighs> All right. All right. Yeah, I can sit down and relax. If I have one shirt dry, it doesn't exactly pan out. That's all right. Once I scratched that idea, it came up with this one. Working out pretty good. That was simple. I think it took the last time I set that one up, then the other one. Putting in firewood, so I don't have to worry about that. It's going to be warm out here, plus. Guys, if you're just camping, so for whatever reason I understand, but if you're just camping, you don't need a fire. Just bring the right equipped gear with you. That's the sleep gear. That's all you'll need. If you bring the right sleep gear, you don't have to worry about fire. And I'll be quite honest with you. I was over in Flagstaff, Arizona. I slept outside, and the winter time's kind of rough. Snow, cold. I remember that first time I was there, someone informed me, he's like, you're in Yuma, it'll probably get cold a couple times during the night, but it won't be no big deal. It did, and I was kind of I had the gear for it. Then I got the Flagstaff, and I got, it might be colder, and it might snow, it's going to be a different part, you're in the mountains. And they had record snowfall to record cold. And I did fine. I didn't have fire or nothing. Even with my hitchhiking days, cold days, I didn't set no fires. I was afraid to. One, you're sleeping on somebody else's land. I just didn't want to do that with legal trace of me or any of the above. But anyways, I'm just talking to be talking. So I guess I'll leave you guys alone. And I'm going uh, to sit here and enjoy the rest of the day. Or evening or whatever it is. Charging my phone a little bit. And I'll see you in the morning. This is Kyle Kyle's Tracks and Trails. Y'all have a good night. All right. Let's talk for a sec. Oops, let me get you where you can see me. I had you. What I want to talk about is this is going to be like a campground. I have plenty of places I can hike. But I just went up there to change my shoes so I could have slip on shoes. That way I'm not having to unlace anything. They're comfortable. So I just went back up there. I don't have a good grip with my boots, but they work for here. The reason being is I just want to slip on, slip off, so if something gets easy and whatever out of the microphone.
But so yes, I went back to the house. That's going to be like my camping ground down here, but I can still access the bathroom if I really need to. I mean, I can go back that way and dark use the bathroom. I'm so close to this road. I took my chances already and I used the bathroom. I just used the bathroom over that way. With the road being that close in daylight, I was pretty sure if anybody drove by, they could probably see me come that way or even back that way. I just turned my back towards the house. It ain't that big of a deal. But that's pretty much it for the disclosure. I wouldn't be as honest as possible on my video about things like that. But for right now, let's show you getting into my shelter. You haven't seen that part yet. I did say that. I've been in there already to test things out, so we'll do that. Get you turned around. All right, well. Get here. I wonder what that is in my microphone so you guys can hear me. So I still got to get on my knees here and everything. Get inside there. Our mattress is cool. I might have to get a paddle of some sort. Right now we're just going to put my shoes underneath here and we'll call it good. Still firm as, besides it being dirty. Still good there. Try to keep it as clean as possible. It's kind of hard to say clean the wood sometimes. And see, now this is the part where I can actually just take my shoes. I got my knife inside. My stuff's actually in that haversack. Whatever's in my pockets. I like to have my knife close by. Like I said, I can just take my shoes now. And see, that's why I want to slip off some long shoes. I didn't want to try to take off those boots. Those boots. They just take off it ain't that easy to fit back on honestly. Let's do that for now. And there we go. I can survive that. I might use my hoodie. This blanket should be enough. I'm wearing long sleeve shirts, so and it's not cold. I can tell you right now I am fully covered. I mean I'm looking at this and yeah, I'm fully covered. Oh, also, I had to do some things with my girlfriend. She's at work still. So her hip was hurting her, so. But I was able to do it for her. Got the chicken coop closed up for her. So while I'm out, I take care of her. <laughs> Anyways, that's how that works. Bar's getting out the same way. I just grab my shoes. Because they're slip on, I can that's where I get my socks dirty because I absolutely hate that. And there's still stuff on here you don't want to step on. Every time I think I have to sharp stuff out of the ground, I find more. In like fact, I found more stuff to pull out of the ground while I was setting this tarp up. And I'll probably leave it set up for the rain. Let's see how it does. I've used it before and it's done me good. I know you want to make contact with it. There we go. That's how that'll work. Now this has to cry out of it. A blanket here. I'll just keep my knife in here. I don't really need it right at the moment. But I promise you that it's fully covered. Don't do that. There we got started to grab a hole there, and that's a bad idea. Yeah, apparently you're gonna get dirty in the woods, no big deal. Got a microphone here. So anyways, that's pretty much what we got going on. Just want to be honest with you guys. Yes, I went back up to the house to do something. I want to show you me crawling up inside there. But we're good. I'm out of here for now. See you in the morning. Let you guys enjoy the fire. I don't have my microphone on me, so bear with me. That looks like my freaking bag's almost in the flames, huh?
Oh, Lord. Good night. I was out there was take some wood and splinter it, carved on it, my knife, my mower, and that's what I used for my small stuff. Having some birch bark. And the rest are simple. One more fire fry turned in. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the morning. I keep on saying that, don't I? Well, this time in it. See you in the morning. Yeah, morning, folks. 6.42. I've been up earlier than that, but... Hey, get things going here. I got the coffee. It's starting to go. We'll be having coffee here in a minute. I didn't use my grate. It didn't feel like waiting for the co-op, so I can stick my grate back on there. So that's what we're doing here. If you notice, I kind of got my handle shoved back towards the back away from the fire so I can grab onto it. So for that seems to work. So I'll get back to work on this coffee here and I'll get back with you. Well, hello. Good morning, folks. Well, we made it through the night. I have a cup of coffee now, as you saw, I was getting some ready. I didn't use my grater enough. I, just, it went, I was going to wait for Gail and Combs every time I was grating. I was like, I need my coffee. It got into the 40s last night. I wasn't expecting to get that cold. I could have swore it was supposed to be in the lower 50s. It got into the lower 40s. So, I already looked at the weather wrong on my phone. They don't know what they're talking about. They changed constantly on the phone. They say, no rain, dude. All of a sudden, it's raining. Like Tuesday. 2% chance of rain. That 2% happened. So, that's basically all we got going on. I'm going to turn around towards the shelter. I'm going to try to show you something I did. I'm going to have to drag you up close, so we'll see about that. I don't have really nothing going on. I'm not going to have breakfast. I'll just go back to the house to have breakfast. Got kind of a mess on my table. I was sawing, and my coffee press was on the table. My table was kind of wide. I got to reinforce some things to keep my table from being wide. I don't know if you guys have seen this table. I'll show it off. You'll have to forgive the mess. What we'll do is take a walk around here. Down there. As you can see, it's just a little spool. That's all it is. May go for a tail, but it is wobbly, so I'll reinforce it down here. See, with all things, I can have my stuff down here like I have it now. But we'll reinforce it. I just gotta get the wood for it. But here's where I made the mess with my coffee. I had my coffee press set on it, but as you can see, I got stuff setting on it from microphone set to my gathering bag there. My coffee. So I need to refill. There is nothing like a good hot cup of coffee first thing in the morning, especially when it's kind of chilly. You guys know, so I'm wearing my basic arm um, Swagman row. <clears throat> That's also why I used to wear a blanket. I stayed warm. Now I'm kind of nose where my tarp kind of came loose, so that's my own fault, and we'll get over there. And I'll explain that here in a minute. But I didn't feel like tightening it back up. Then they set my coffee down. Now I'll get back with you and we'll discuss the shelter. And I'm here to tell you right now, you see my air master there from Pathfinder. That thing only did stay aired up. I only woke up a couple times. That's just how I am. It wasn't that bad mattress fault that I woke up like I did. My I I tossed and turned my blanket that I was using came off me the way I'm wearing now, my basic swat man row. Came off and I got kind of chilly. So I had to cover back up, so I woke me up, then using the bathroom. So I only woke up twice. Usually I wake up three or four times. But as you can see, I got my stuff hanging from everything. But this thing is like sleeping in a bed. I kid you not. Now I'm probably going to drag you in and show you what I did here. But this was one stick. It fell over sometime during the night, which was my second time for waking up. So it fell over. I had this thing touch me. And it's the last thing you want touching you. It's a tarp like this. It's, um, I forgot what the material is, but it's definitely, you don't want to touch your sweat. And there was a little bit of conversation, so nothing that hurt anything. Right now, it's got frost on it, of all things. At least I think it does. Nah, it don't have frost on it. It's the way it looks. So we did good. I didn't use a fire to keep warm. I didn't see the not that type of person. I'd be quite honest with you. Through my hitchhiking days, I never started a fire. 
If I was in the woods, I guarantee I was on someone's property camping. I just did not want to disturb anything as much as possible and leave no trace. I didn't want a fire pit like that. Then didn't even want a small fire. Now, there was a few places where I had one, but I made sure it was covered up. And I was more or less near the bike path, path when I did that. There was times I even sat there and stars because I was kind of worried about setting stuff up. As long as the wear wasn't bad. It kind of came loose here. As you can see. I probably could have tightened it up a little bit last night, but I was just wanting to get to bed. So it wasn't that big of a deal that I was that loose. I'm going to drag you in closer, and I'll show you what I did. All right, so here's what we did. When this fell over, now I couldn't keep it up after this. I was like, holy hell, what do I got to do here? So I went and found a stick that was already like this. It forked all the way through. And really, I probably could have had more of a fork there, but that's actually what... This is jammed up in there. It's not tight. It's jammed. This, this is a fork. Let's see if I can get you guys up there. I still got you on my standby. I got my... Microphone equipment hooked to the. I gotta, I gotta be careful here. This is a recording. All right, now we see. You see how I had that shoved up in there? That's actually pretty solid. Next time, I'll make sure I tie myself a proper tripod or a bipod, which is what I got going up there before. And see how they done it. I just did that. So it's in there. I mean, it stayed through the night. I leaned on it, so it's not loose. The bad habit of leaving stuff sometimes. So I was able to jam it up in there. And it's solid. I mean, it would take a win, and I did knock it down a little bit doing that. Hmm. So you can see it's loose. Next time I'll tie a bipod together, and we'll just do it like that. And I can just tie my string on somewhere near my bank line that I've got going on. So that's what I did there. As far as it being loose, and I'll show you this down here if I can. You see how loose that is? Let me see if I can readjust you. Sorry about moving you guys around like this. There we go. See, I could have tightened that up a little bit more last night, but I was afraid of messing with this a little bit more. Plus, the ground, back, the further back you go with the ground here, it's a little bit looser, so it's hard to keep a tent stake in there. There's basically what it looks like inside. Like I said, I slept comfortably. The only time I complained about is I didn't have a pedal. There was no way I was going to use my hoodie for the pedal because I needed it on. But on my swagman run, we did pretty good. Um, next time I think I have a pedal out here. I know that one wind cell was what I've heard about. And I've had heard no complaints about it. So that's something I'll invest in. Um, sorry folks, my nose run. But besides that, that's what it basically looks like inside. I'm going to see if I can kind of move you around here, get a better view of it. As you can see how high I was able to keep that tarp. Just like that. Nothing touched me. Tarp didn't touch me. I mean, it did at first when that fell over. But I got right back out because that did wake me up. But I'm dry. The outside of that Tarp is wet from the conversation. Well, not really from the conversation from the deer out here. A little bit wet and cold. Thought it was last night. Backpack store over there were doing good. I checked it. It's a little bit damp, but nothing on the inside's hurt. Their mattress stayed aired up. They used a, the, um, I can't think right at the moment. Sorry, the morning for this. The um, thing underneath from Pathfinder, their, <laughs> Sorry, folks, I can't think of what to call it. That's first thing in the morning. I thought I had my thoughts scared up, but I don't. So I'll get back with you guys. We'll have a seat and finish off this coffee. That there's how I'm keeping my coffee warm. There's still some hot coals underneath the ashes, so keep my hands on. That did work. I think Black Thomas, the one who said keep your hands all out of the heat and you won't have no problems burning yourself, and I didn't. <clears throat> That's just how I'm keeping it warm. All right. Well. Oh.
I know one of these straps must be behind me. I'm not caring. It's keeping me warm one way or the other. <sighs> Coffee did kind of cross you. I'm using a titanium cup. I shouldn't be able to do that stuff. So. Oh, man. Nice out here. Well, I'm going to ask Carl because I didn't use that charge my phone on the solar charger. I want to take some pictures. I'll point you guys that direction. I'm hoping the sun comes up eventually and starts peeking through the mountains there. Well, I'll watch the sunset. When was that? 40 something last time I checked. I did charge on a little bit last time my solar charger. I'm going to have to invest in their ones. It's not that for their crap. I was under the assumption most solar chargers should be able to leave it out in the sun. Now, I've heard you can charge your phone up to five or six times on them. I'm not seeing the point if you leave them out in the sun, you're going to only charge your phone five or six times on them. You have to get them more noise. It's busy morning on the road there. People are getting up and around getting to work. But that one issue that tells me one of my videos, I went back to the house to recharge everything, my phone included. I had that some solar charges by this company, um, for Patriots. Their food's great. If you want to prep, which I do, for Patriots are great. Now, I'm also saying have a gun, so you can go hunting. And make that part of it, because they do sell cans of meat, but that's five years with the cans of meat. The stuff I buy is usually 25 years. Hopefully nothing happens, and I just want to worry about it, but I'd rather be prepped and safe. Anyways, so that caused me to go up for that, with that, so their electronics, I don't know nothing about it. And I think I said this in my last video, where they're complaining about the product, or where they're saying good stuff about the product, I'll say good stuff about the food, the food tastes good. Their electronics, if that's what their solar charger like for your phone, then forget it. The solar brick, I guess is what you want to call it. Another thing, so I'm going to have to invest in something besides that. But back to the comments. That was that on one of their, it gets to that every time they post something. Is there complaints about the electronic stuff? Complaints about the food sometimes. I haven't even heard the mice chew food coming from to answer. I've not had any issues with that at all. The food's been nothing but great. In fact, Casey. Her youngest ate the macaroni and cheese. He didn't know where it came from, and he just ate it. No complaints. Their macaroni and cheese is definitely good. Their oatmeal is good. They have some noodles of some sort that's pretty good. And a powder, and it tastes... It tastes good. I can't tell you what it tastes like, because I don't remember what it is. That tastes good. Their food's great. But back to the comments. I keep getting sidetracked here about that stuff. In the comment section, people complain, say good stuff about it. But if you look them up on their own Facebook profiles, yes, I kind of went trolling to see what was what. They're not posting about that stuff. That's right. If I have it, I'm posting on Facebook. I'm posting on Instagram. I'm posting. And I didn't see anything to do, so I'm not sure what that's about. So far, I've not had any problems with food. Their electronic stuff, I'll probably never buy it again. But the food, I would recommend it. Anyways, I'm going to point you guys kind of towards this way. The sun doesn't seem to be really popping up anytime soon. Not sure when the sun rises around here. We'll get you straightened out here. Well, it's turning day. That sun just ain't ready to pop out. Or it is daylight. Guess old sun wants to sleep in. Kingsley's just right back that way. Small town, a couple hundred people in it. Railroad tracks down there. Anyways, I was hoping to see some deer running. I don't see that. I saw a squirrel in the evening time. And then, like I saw my last one, I saw some deer chasing each other, but chasing a doe and not too far behind was a doe chasing the buck and the doe. Like, leave her alone, come to me, type of situation. Or maybe something weird, who knows. We won't discuss it on YouTube. 
Good way to get kicked off here. But anyways, let me get you the tobacco up here. 